I Was a Teenage Frankenstein, 1957, directed by Herbert L. Strock, starring Whit Bissell, Gary Conway, and Phyllis Coates. The ancestor of Victor Frankenstein decides to make his own patchwork human, because reanimating the dead kinda runs in the family. The Creature has always been one of my favorite classic monsters. The perfect combination of science fiction and horror, it is incredible just how many different ways this monster has been interpreted since the release of Mary Shelley's iconic novel. There's a lot of cinematic adaptations of Shelley's novel as well. And I mean a lot. Now I wanted to like this film, I really did. One of the reasons I chose many of the films I feature on my channel is what I feel to be unfair ratings, to give these potentially misunderstood gems a fair chance by someone who actually enjoys these kinds of films. It's a Frankenstein story. It came from the 50s, which is arguably the first golden age of B-movies, and it has a wonderfully pulpy title. What could go wrong? I'll start with The Professor. He's an irredeemable prick. To say Professor Frankenstein has trust issues is an understatement. He goes to pretty extreme lengths to double-cross almost everyone he knows in this film for seemingly no reason. No one else really stands out in the cast. Everyone does as much as they can with what they're given. One of the most iconic parts of a Frankenstein film is the design of the creature itself. How did this one measure up? Look at this. It looks more like a modern art installation than a creature effect. Who designed this? Picasso? I've seen Ben Cooper costumes with more realism. Philip Shear handled the makeup in this film. His work in Invisible Invaders was perfectly adequate, so I guess he just had an off day with this one. Producer Herman Cohen said he had about four weeks to put this film together. In this case, it's kind of like someone telling you they cut their own hair and you saying, uh, yes, yes you did. It really shows. Cohen also claimed that the alligator that appeared in the film was one of the alligators used by real-life serial killer Joe Ball to dispose of the bodies of his victims, which is the most insane piece of trivia I've found so far. Verdict, thumbs down. In a world full of Frankenstein adaptations, I'm afraid this one comes apart at the seams. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for the thrilling low-budget adventure.